Hello, West Pacific Market Analytics, and it's Glenn here. And I just wanted to come in here to finish off my weekend uh, with just two models around Bitcoin because there's just so much talk about it. And I want to show you two thoughts on it. Do not shoot the shooter, so to speak. Uh, in other words, I don't care about opinion, including my own. I only care about the data model. So again, that key is to take out all thought to what the market or even Bitcoin has to do. Take out the emotion other than seeing what it has to do or what it can do. And boy, I'll tell you what, there's going to be a lot of people happy to be selling Bitcoin back up at its highs here that missed that last high and they got absolutely creamed in the 2022 sell off. There is going to be a lot of selling once this thing rolls over. So let's not waste any time. Let's go quickly to the disclaimer. These charts and updates are for educational entertainment purposes only. And please read it. All right, we're going to look at two models. Let's start actually with the second one right here. Now, what we're looking at here is the entire history of Bitcoin. Now, this is laying in the SPX and it awfully uncanny. Is it Bitcoin leading the SPX or is it SPX leading Bitcoin? The similarity in how they needed to create liquidity out of where the market should have topped back here in 2016 is uncanny. And lo and behold, when the market should have went down, they created and launched Bitcoin by some mysterious character that no one even knows. Uh, and you got to question the whole Bitcoin deal. Now, I'm telling you, forget about all that. But what I want to show you here that's so important is notice how in the initial rally, Bitcoin went right up beautifully with the velocity rising right up there and topping out with velocity. And then you notice the velocity channel just collapsed and it's now down here. Now, there is a very good chance in the future that Bitcoin could arrive back down here at the price where it began. Now, I'm just telling you that is an idea that I do see in many of the models. Notice also the lows in SPX corresponded with the low valleys in velocity of Bitcoin. There's your low here in 2019. There's your low here in 2020, again, right into the valley, right into the valley. And here's your low in October of 2022, right into the valley. And notice on the other side of the valley, velocity came back in, velocity came back in, and velocity came back in. Now, that's the first thing I want you to observe. The second thing I want you to observe, Bitcoin topped out with velocity. Bitcoin topped out with velocity. Bitcoin got a bit above velocity here and topped out, but Bitcoin is here and velocity is here. Velocity is below the low at $7 here and below the low of SPX 3400. And we're down here. So when this rolls over, this could very, very be different than the previous times. So we're just going to have to see how this float sets up. Here we are all the way back up at the black line trend, just below the old high. Does it want to push a bit higher and even take out that old high? Because maybe then we got some kind of wacko count here, a wave one, a wave two, a wave three, a wave four, and then a wave five to a new high. It very well could be in a complete pattern here ahead of the total collapse in Bitcoin. Now, we're not quite there on my key model here. I would like to show you that right here. This is a timing model. You notice right here, here was our low signal in Bitcoin. Here was a high signal in Bitcoin. Now, what's so interesting is you notice here that was a high. Right here was a high on this signal. And notice here this major signal. Here was a high on the major signal. Here was that low and a high on the minor signal. But then notice on the bigger signal, we had a low, we had a high, perfection, 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 perfection. And then notice what's interesting here on this signal, which came in July, we continue to sell off, which I could see that happening because notice how the trend continued to go sideways. It came down a bit more until the trend reversed here out of the low here in December and then the trend built up. But notice we've already got one signal topped out and we only need this more major signal that's been very accurate to roll back over. 
So it is not looking good here. This is not a position you want to be playing a hero. Now this signal doesn't necessarily need to go higher because notice we had a top here where this was down here and you know it doesn't necessarily have to build all the way up to the top like it did on this signal back here. So we're going to see how that sets up. But the signal is not there to absolutely declare the top yet. We do have this minor signal here, which is an important signal as well, because that marked the top here, and that marked the top here, and that also marked the top here. So we're going to have to see how this sets out. It's a confusing signal this time. Going to be interesting to watch here. We've got to see a top in Bitcoin. If we see that top in the market on Friday with a potential into Monday, Day, then that should signify a top in Bitcoin here very shortly. So just wanted to give you that quick update, let you know what I'm seeing there because I think that's all part of the top out in this market as well. You want to, any information on the um, Discord channel, we do cover all the crypto space on the Destiny Trading, uh, excuse me, on the Discord platform for West Pacific Market Analytics. Get a hold of me and I'll get you that info. Uh, I'll talk to you again shortly. I just thought this update was important to the ongoing top here in the markets. Thanks for tuning in. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Really would appreciate your support. And Glenn out.